Welcome to the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid Overview Training. This video supplements but does not replace the information provided in the user manual that came with your Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid. This video is divided into segments so you can easily review specific topics as needed. These segments include an introduction to the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid and how it ties to infection prevention and guidelines. An overview of key components. Device familiarization. Detergent used by the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid. First time setup. Daily startup tasks. Standard operation procedures in automatic mode. Standard operation procedures in manual mode. Settings. And maintenance and troubleshooting. The Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid is designed to facilitate the flushing of fluids through the internal channels of flexible, immersible endoscopes during the manual cleaning step of endoscope reprocessing and prior to high-level disinfection. This device has been designed and tested to meet or exceed endoscope manufacturer's requirements for fluid delivery through endoscope channels. This Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid provides detergent dosing, monitors the temperature of the sink solution and or the clean container solution, and alerts the user when the solution temperature is not within the acceptable range. Additionally, fluid pressure monitoring in the endoscope channels is provided to ensure the manufacturer's specifications are not exceeded. It can also potentially indicate an obstruction in the endoscope. The endoscope is connected to either a designated 24-hour tubing or the Medivator's DSD hookup, which is attached to a 24-hour pump tube. When using DSD hookups, a 24-hour tubing adapter for DSD hookup is required to connect it to the 24-hour pump tube. There are five different 24-hour tubing options for the following endoscopes. Olympus endoscopes, Pentax endoscopes, Fujifilm Pre-700 series endoscopes, Fujifilm 700 series endoscopes, and a universal hookup tubing. The 24-hour tubing is validated to be used exclusively with the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid and should be discarded daily. Do not use the tubing for more than 24 hours, as it may not provide adequate flushing and will void the warranty. Follow the instructions for use, IFU, included in the tubing box. Do not attempt to use or modify the 24-hour tubing with any other flushing aid or an automated endoscope reprocessor. One of the many functions the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid can perform easily is the aspiration step for Olympus endoscopes. This saves you time and money as it does not require the extra cleaning adapter that is used when performing this step manually. You will not need to keep these cleaning adapters in stock or worry about disinfecting them between each scope. After flushing the endoscope with the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid, the endoscope must be high-level disinfected by an approved automated endoscope reprocessor, or manually according to the endoscope manufacturer's IFU prior to use on a patient. This device is not an endoscope washer disinfector or reprocessor and is not a replacement for an automated endoscope reprocessor. It does not bear labeling claims for direct cleaning efficacy or high-level disinfection efficacy for endoscope reprocessing. The Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid was specially designed to meet customer needs by providing the following benefits. Automated and consistent flushing of endoscope channels help with compliance of standardized flushing protocols. Automatic detergent and temperature monitoring help with consistency in cleaning and helps eliminate the risk of human error. The external pump and 24-hour tubing reduce the risk of cross-contamination since there is no reusable tubing or internal pump mechanism to decontaminate. Consistent hands-free flushing of endoscopes reduces the risk of repetitive motion injuries and makes flushing consistent across all staff members. 
An easy-to-use automatic mode walks you through each step of the manual cleaning process while documenting in real time. Manual mode operation is also an option, if desired. Reports that detail cleaning steps in the automatic mode to assist with complying with documentation standards. Aspiration for Olympus endoscopes is performed seamlessly, without the need for multiple devices and tubing segments, and is automatically documented in the data log. Finally, system warnings alert you when specifications are not being met and documents those instances. This machine is designed and engineered to meet society guidelines and recommendations, providing infection prevention for your patients, caregivers, and other healthcare providers. Additional details for specific guidelines are available online at endoinfectionprevention.com. The Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid combines an external peristaltic pump, color LCD touchscreen, and electronic controls to pump fluids through tubing connections to the channels of the endoscope. Components include a temperature probe with two sensors allows the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid to show a warning if the temperature of the cleaning solution in the sink or clean container is outside the selected operating range. A barcode scanner and bracket provide easy, automated entry for user IDs, endoscope IDs, optional patient IDs, and tracking of detergent lot numbers. A mounting bracket provides an option to mount the unit in order to save counter space. A medical-grade 6-foot power cord and power supply. Only use this power cord and power supply included with the unit a 250 milliliter graduated cylinder to perform the daily dosing verification procedure. A USB drive containing the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid software for the reporting feature. And the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid user manual and in-service packet. The following items are sold separately and what is needed will depend on your endoscope manufacturer and configuration. 24-hour tubing is validated to be used exclusively with the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid and should be discarded daily. These include the pump tube, adapter for the DSD hookup, tubing for Olympus endoscopes, tubing for Pentax endoscopes, tubing for Fujifilm endoscopes, tubing for Fujifilm 700 series endoscopes, universal hookup tubing, and the 24-hour auxiliary detergent out tube. The disposable detergent in tube is replaced when a new detergent container is needed. An air water channel plug is needed for Olympus endoscopes when not using the DSD hookup. Detergent is needed for endoscope flushing. The Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid is validated by Medivators to use with intercept detergent. In addition, an optional waterproof scanner accessory is available that protects against accidental water exposure. Right or left side mounting is offered. The front of the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid includes the following features. A power button, LCD color touchscreen, pump head, pump head release lever, and a detergent out port. The right side includes a power cord inlet port, temperature probe inlet port, three USB ports, one is for the barcode scanner, detergent in quick connect port, and an auxiliary detergent out quick connect port. The back of the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid has slots for wall hanging with the provided bracket. The barcode scanner bracket can be mounted on either the right or left side of the unit. There are two operating modes, automatic and manual. Within these modes are two different pathways to pull fluids, from clean containers or from the sink. The Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid can be customized to provide the best configuration for your department. The automatic mode prompts the user for each step of the manual cleaning process. Steps must be completed in order and are logged for full cycle documentation. In manual mode, 
the user selects each step of the manual cleaning process. The manual mode does not ensure the proper endoscope flushing steps are followed because the user is selecting the desired steps in the process. Therefore, logging of the cycle data will be limited. Pathways describe the desired path of fluids that are flushed through endoscopes. Detergent solution and rinse water can be either drawn from a clean container or recirculated from the sink through the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid. Either pathway may be used depending on the facility's endoscope cleaning procedure. The clean container pathway pulls fluids from separate clean containers to flush through the endoscope. When using the sink only pathway, fluids are recirculated from the sink and flushed through the endoscope. The Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid has been validated with Intercept Detergent. Intercept Detergent is a unique surfactant-based formulation that is clinically proven to provide superior removal of biological and organic soils and effectively aids in the removal of biofilm that may be found on flexible endoscopes. The concentrated solution has a fast contact time of one minute and low use concentration to save your facility time and money. Its low foaming and neutral pH characteristics meet the criteria of endoscope manufacturers and society guidelines for effective manual cleaning. Intercept detergent is an environmentally responsible and biodegradable detergent. The intercept detergent temperature range is 20 to 35 degrees Celsius or 68 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature monitoring range can be adjusted in the detergent menu of the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid. Consult the detergent IFU for required temperatures. To perform first-time setup on the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid, first, connect the power cord to the side of the device and to an AC outlet. Connect the barcode scanner to the USB port. Turn the unit on by depressing the power button until the on light illuminates. When prompted, touch the screen firmly to begin. Select the desired language from the list. In the Select Run mode, select Automatic. Please note, first time setup must be fully completed in order to operate the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid in the Automatic mode. Select the desired date format. Press OK to confirm after each selection. Set the date using the arrows. Select the time format desired and set the time using the arrows. Select the volume units of the sink and clean container in either gallons or liters. Select the temperature units in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Set the default detergent source to either sink or clean container. When sink is selected, detergent is dosed out of the front detergent outport only. Choose this option to dose detergent only to the sink. Enter the sink volume in the units displayed using the keypad. Confirm your entry. When clean container is selected, detergent is dosed to two places. First, out of the front detergent outport to the sink, and second, out of the side auxiliary detergent outport to a separate clean container. Following the screen prompts, enter the volume of the clean container in the units displayed using the keypad. Enter the volume of the sink in the units displayed. On the Load New Detergent screen, scan the detergent lot number using the barcode scanner or by pressing the keypad icon in the bottom right corner of the screen to enter the lot number manually. Following the instructions on the screen, always use a new detergent in tube with each new bottle of detergent. Adjust the end of the detergent in tube to ensure the tube reaches the bottom of the detergent bottle. Thread the cap of the detergent in tube onto the detergent bottle. Snap the detergent in tube into the detergent in port located on the right side of the unit. If using a clean container, install the 24 hour auxiliary detergent out tube into the unit and place the weighted end in the clean container of water. This tubing should be replaced daily. Press OK. 
the detergent in tube will need to be primed after completing first time setup. Priming is necessary to ensure correct detergent dosage. We will be instructing how to prime the detergent in tube shortly in this segment. Additional information can be found in the user manual. The detergent dilution screen allows input of the recommended dilution percentage to provide correct detergent concentration. For intercept detergent, use 0.35% detergent dilution. Press the up and down arrows to adjust the detergent dilution percentage. Press OK when 0.35% is displayed. To accommodate variance in the unit, 0.1% should be added to the listed detergent dilution for all detergents. Refer to the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid user manual for assistance on correct detergent concentration. The following four cycle sequence options can be toggled off to inactive or on to active. These options will prompt the user during the sequence if they are turned on. When on, the endoscope brushing step prompts the user to brush the endoscope in the manual cleaning process when using the automatic mode. A timer displays, and the amount of time is logged. The next cycle sequence option is the aspiration step. When activated, the user is prompted to perform the aspiration step. This step is designed for endoscopes that require aspiration. Next is the patient ID scan. When toggled on, the user is prompted to enter the patient information either via the barcode scanner or keypad. Temperature monitoring, when activated, shows an alert when the detergent water temperature is outside the selected range and when the temperature probe is not plugged in. A warning displays to either plug in the temperature probe or disable temperature monitoring. Press OK to confirm first time setup is complete. Any of the setup options can be changed later within the settings menu. When using temperature monitoring, the default temperature range on the unit is set for intercept detergent, which is 20 to 35 degrees Celsius or 68 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. To adjust the temperature range, press the home button on the screen. Use the down arrow to select settings. Enter the settings password. Use the down arrow and select temperature range. On the temperature range screen, touch inside the min and max temperature boxes to enter the minimum and maximum temperature range of the detergent. Press OK to confirm. Let's walk through the daily startup tasks. The dosing system should be verified daily to ensure it is within specification. If the dosing verification fails, the dosing calibration must be performed. Repeat the dosing verification procedure again to ensure the dosing system is calibrated correctly. To perform the dosing verification, install the 24-hour pump tube. It should not have any fluid in the tubing. If a new detergent bottle is being installed, first, prime the detergent in tube. Enter manual mode from the home screen. Press OK to advance. Scan or use the keypad to enter the user ID. For endoscope ID, use the keypad to enter 1, 2, 3. For patient ID, if applicable, enter 1, 2, 3. Select Dosing. Ensure the sink icon is selected. Ensure 20 milliliters is the dosing volume displayed on the screen. If not, press the keypad icon, then press the backspace icon to clear the field. Using the keypad, enter 20 milliliters. Press OK to confirm. Direct the lure output on the pump tube into a graduated cylinder. Press play to dose detergent into the graduated cylinder. Do not allow the pump tube to become submerged in the dispensed detergent. This may cause an inaccurate reading. If the output is between 18 to 22 milliliters, then the unit is calibrated correctly. Document the results on the dosing verification procedure log. If the output is outside the range of 18 to 22 milliliters, then the unit must be calibrated. 
First, empty the graduated cylinder and perform the dosing calibration. After the calibration, repeat the dosing verification procedure. Document results on the dosing verification and calibration log. When dosing verification fails, perform dosing calibration. Return to the home screen by pressing the home icon. Press the down arrow. Select the settings icon. Enter the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid settings password using the keypad. Use the arrows to navigate to the dosing calibration menu. Place the open lure end of the pump tube into an empty sink. Press play to begin initializing. This is dosing calibration step one of three. After initialization has completed and when prompted, place the open lure end of the pump tube into a graduated cylinder. On the dosing calibration two of three screen, press play to begin the calibration. Once dosing has completed, enter the volume from the graduated cylinder in milliliters using the keypad. Do not empty the graduated cylinder after the first step. Dosing calibration is not complete. Direct the lure output of the pump tube into the same graduated cylinder. On the dosing calibration three of three screen, press play to begin the calibration. Press the keypad icon at the bottom to enter the total measured volume. Press OK when calibration is complete. Now, repeat the dosing verification. If the dosing verification fails again, contact Medivator's technical support at 1-800-444-4729. Document the results on the dosing verification and calibration log. When the detergent bottle is empty, it should be discarded along with the used detergent in tube. To load a new detergent bottle, scroll down from the home screen and select Detergent. Select Load New Detergent. Scan the barcode on the new detergent bottle or press the keypad icon to enter the lot number. Follow the prompts on the screen to thread the cap of the new detergent in tube onto the new detergent bottle. Ensure the end of the tube reaches the bottom of the bottle. Snap the detergent in tube to the blue detergent in port located on the right side of the unit. Press OK. Use the up arrow to return to the home screen. You must always prime the new detergent in tube to get any air out of the tube. We will discuss priming the detergent in tube at the end of this segment. If you are using a clean container, install the 24-hour auxiliary detergent out tube to the white auxiliary detergent out port on the right side of the unit and place the weighted end into the clean container of water. This tubing is good for 24 hours. Next, install the 24-hour pump tube. Open the pump head by rotating the pump head lever to the left. Connect the lure fitting to the detergent out port on the front of the unit first. Now align the flow arrows on the pump tube with the flow arrows on the pump head. Insert the pump tube into the pump head, ensuring it is centered between the tubing retainers so it moves freely between the upper and lower rollers. Close the pump head by turning the pump head lever to the right. If using a clean container, place the pump tube strainer end in the container. If not, place in the sink. All new detergent in tubes must be primed to ensure accurate dosing. Let's review how to prime the detergent in tube. Ensure the pump tube is installed. Select Manual from the home screen, then press OK to advance. Scan or use the keypad to enter your user ID. Enter any number for the endoscope ID and patient ID if enabled. Select Dosing. Press Sync icon. Ensure 20 milliliters is the dosing volume displayed on the screen. If not, press the keypad icon. Then, press the backspace icon to clear the field. Use the keypad to enter 20 milliliters. Press OK to confirm. Press play to begin dosing. The detergent in tube should be filled with detergent and ready for use. 
This segment of the video will discuss the standard operation of automatic mode for your Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid. It is divided into seven sections for easy review. This first section will walk you through the entire process using the 24-hour tubing for Olympus endoscopes pulling fluids from clean containers. Then, we will demonstrate an Olympus DSD hookup. In the third section, we will demonstrate how to attach an Olympus bronchoscope to the pump tube. Section 4 describes how to hook up Pentax endoscopes using both the 24-hour tubing for Pentax endoscopes and the 24-hour tubing adapter for DSD hookup. Section 5 will demonstrate how to hook up Fujifilm Pre-700 series endoscopes using the 24-hour tubing for Fujifilm endoscopes. Section 6 demonstrates how to hook up Fujifilm 700 series endoscopes using the 24-hour tubing for Fujifilm 700 endoscopes. Dosing to the sink only will be explained in Section 7. Prior to connecting the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid to an endoscope for flushing, ensure the endoscope has been leak tested. Endoscopes should be leak tested before submersion for manual cleaning as part of the overall reprocessing protocol defined in the manufacturer's IFU. At the beginning of every cycle, users are prompted to enter the identification numbers for the user, endoscope, and patient if enabled via the barcode scanner or manually by selecting the keypad icon. The Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid can be used to dose detergent to both the sink and clean container prior to brushing and flushing the interior endoscope channels. Do not connect the endoscope until the detergent dosing is complete. The unit will automatically dose to the sink first, then the clean container. Fill both the sink and clean container with the correct volume of water previously entered in first-time setup. Place the temperature sensor labeled sink into the sink, the one labeled clean container in the clean container. Press play to begin dosing detergent to the sink. You will be prompted to dose to the clean container. Place the weighted end of the 24-hour auxiliary detergent out tube into the clean container. Press play to begin dosing to the clean container. This completes the dosing step. Now let's move to the next step, which is brushing. The endoscope brushing step will be documented and a timer is provided. Using the up and down arrows, select the desired brushing time. Press play to begin the timer. Brush the endoscope channels in accordance with the endoscope manufacturer's IFU. The time logged is displayed in the bottom right corner of the screen and recorded in the data log. The brushing step may be repeated if needed for extra time, or you may move to the next step. Now we are ready for the aspiration step. Let's walk through how to set up an Olympus endoscope for the aspiration step using the 24-hour tubing for Olympus endoscopes. Apply the channel plug to the endoscope leaving the biopsy cap off. Push on the air water blanking cap. For endoscopes with an auxiliary water or elevator wire channel, insert the connector on the endoscope's port and turn clockwise until it is fully engaged. It is important to attach this connector before attaching any other connectors. For endoscopes without an auxiliary water or elevator wire channel, Close the pinch clip on this section of the tubing. Push the air probe tubing section onto the endoscope's air probe until fully engaged. Align the silicone suction tubing segment with a suction barb on the endoscope. Push the tubing onto the barb until it is fully engaged. Attach the 24-hour tubing for Olympus endoscopes to the pump tube. To begin the aspiration step, Ensure the biopsy cap is off the endoscope's biopsy port. Close all pinch clips on the 24-hour tubing for Olympus endoscopes. Remove the strainer from the end of the pump tube and set aside. Hold the open end of the pump tube over the sink. The default aspiration time is 30 seconds, but can be adjusted by using the up and down arrows. 
Press play to begin aspirating. As the pump ramps up, detergent solution should begin to flow out the end of the pump tube. If not, confirm the endoscope is set up correctly for aspiration. Press the back button and repeat the aspiration step. Upon completion of aspiration, prepare the endoscope for flushing. Replace the strainer on the pump tube. Replace the biopsy cap on the endoscope biopsy port. Only release the pinch clips on tubing attached to the endoscope. Leave the pinch clip closed on tubing if it is not connected to an endoscope port. We are ready to begin flushing the endoscope. The flushing step draws detergent from the clean container into the endoscope channels. Submerge the pump tube strainer into the clean container. The default flushing time is 1 minute and 35 seconds. This time has been validated by Medivators to cover the worst case flushing times for all endoscopes. Press play to begin flushing. Verify that fluid is exiting all channels of the endoscope during flushing. The first air purge step runs the pump for 15 seconds to push air through the endoscope to expel the detergent solution. Prepare for the air purge by lifting the pump tube strainer out of the fluid, releasing the plug to drain the sink. Press play to begin the air purge. Now it is time for the rinsing step, which pumps clean water through the endoscope channels. Place the endoscope in a sink of clean water. Place the pump tube strainer into the container with clean water. The rinsing time defaults to the flushing time of 1 minute 35 seconds. This time is validated to help ensure detergent solution is properly rinsed out of the endoscope channels. Press play to begin the rinsing step. The second 15-second air purge runs the pump to circulate air through the endoscope to expel rinse water. Prepare for the air purge by lifting the pump tube strainer out of the fluid and draining the sink. Press play to begin the air purge. The Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid acknowledges a complete cycle. To confirm the steps performed, press OK. Disconnect the 24-hour tubing for Olympus endoscopes. Continue the steps of manual cleaning through high-level disinfection as recommended by the endoscope manufacturer. Section 2 covers the entire processing using an Olympus DSD hookup. The automatic mode using the clean container pathway will be used. Prior to connecting the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid to an endoscope for flushing, ensure the endoscope has been leak tested. Endoscopes should be leak tested before submersion for manual cleaning as part of the overall reprocessing protocol defined in the manufacturer's IFU. At the beginning of every cycle, users are prompted to enter the identification numbers for the user, endoscope, and patient if enabled via the barcode scanner or manually by selecting the keypad icon. The Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid can be used to dose detergent to both the sink and clean container prior to brushing and flushing the interior endoscope channels. Do not connect the endoscope until detergent dosing is complete. The unit will automatically dose to the sink first, then the clean container. Fill both the sink and clean container with the correct volume of water previously entered in first-time setup. Place the temperature sensor labeled sink into the sink, the one labeled clean container in the clean container. Press play to begin dosing detergent to the sink. You will be prompted to dose to the clean container. Place the weighted end of the 24-hour auxiliary detergent out tube into the clean container. Press play to begin dosing to the clean container. This completes the dosing step. Now let's move to the next step, which is brushing. The endoscope brushing step will be documented and a timer is provided. Using the up and down arrows, select the desired brush time. Press play to begin the timer. Brush the endoscope channels in accordance with the endoscope manufacturer's IFU. 
The time logged is displayed in the bottom right corner of the screen and recorded in the data log. The brushing step may be repeated if needed for extra time, or you may move to the next step. Now we are ready for the aspiration step. Let's walk through how to set up an Olympus endoscope for the aspiration step using an Olympus DSD hookup. Apply the channel plug to the endoscope, leaving the biopsy cap off. Attach only the suction connector on the DSD hookup to the endoscope suction barb. Connect the 24-hour tubing adapter for DSD hookup to both the DSD hookup and the pump tube. To begin the aspiration step, ensure the biopsy cap is off the endoscope's biopsy port. Remove the strainer from the end of the pump tube and set aside. Hold the open end of the pump tube over the sink. With gloved fingers, plug the disconnected DSD hookup connectors for the air water and auxiliary water inlet if applicable. The default aspiration time is 30 seconds, but can be adjusted using the up and down arrows. Press play to begin aspirating. As the pump ramps up, detergent solution should begin to flow out the end of the pump tube. If not, confirm the endoscope is set up correctly for aspiration and the DSD hookup connectors that are not attached to the endoscope are plugged off. Press the back button and repeat the aspiration step. Upon completion of aspiration, prepare the endoscope for flushing. Replace the strainer on the pump tube. Replace the biopsy cap on the endoscope biopsy port. Reconnect the DSD hookup connectors to the correct ports on the endoscope. Utilize the DSD hookup connection guide if needed. We are ready to begin flushing the endoscope. The flushing step draws detergent from the clean container into the endoscope channels. Submerge the pump tube strainer into the clean container. The default flushing time is 1 minute and 35 seconds. This time has been validated by Medivators to cover the worst case flushing times for all endoscopes. Press play to begin flushing. Verify that fluid is exiting all channels of the endoscope during flushing. The first air purge step runs the pump for 15 seconds to push air through the endoscope channels to expel the detergent solution. Prepare for the air purge by lifting the pump tube strainer out of the fluid and releasing the sink plug to drain the sink. Press play to begin the air purge. Now it is time for the rinsing step, which pumps clean water through the endoscope channels. Place the endoscope in a sink of clean water. Place the pump tube strainer into the container with clean water. The rinsing time defaults to 1 minute and 35 seconds. This time is validated to help ensure detergent solution is properly rinsed out of the endoscope channels. Press play to begin the rinsing step. The second 15 second air purge runs the pump to circulate air through the endoscope to expel rinse water. Prepare for the air purge by lifting the pump tube strainer out of the fluid and draining the sink. Press play to begin the air purge. The Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid acknowledges a complete cycle. To confirm the steps performed, press OK. When using a DSD Edge automated endoscope reprocessor, Leave the DSD hookup on the endoscope for a seamless transition. Continue the steps of manual cleaning through high-level disinfection as recommended by the endoscope manufacturer. We will now demonstrate how to connect an Olympus bronchoscope to the pump tube. All of the manual cleaning steps need to be performed. This section shows only how to connect the Olympus bronchoscopes. Apply the Olympus cleaning adapter MAJ222 to the endoscope following the manufacturer's IFU. Attach the pump tube to the port on the MAJ222 cleaning adapter 
use this setup to aspirate bronchoscopes. We will now demonstrate how to connect a Pentax endoscope with a forward water jet to the 24-hour tubing for Pentax endoscopes and the 24-hour tubing adapter for DSD hookup. All the manual cleaning steps need to be performed. This section shows only how to connect a Pentax endoscope. To connect a Pentax endoscope with a forward water jet to the 24-hour tubing for Pentax endoscopes, start by attaching the Pentax air water cleaning adapter or channel plug to the endoscope in order to block fluids from coming out. Then, place the Pentax rubber inlet seal on the biopsy port. For endoscopes with a forward water jet, insert the connector on the endoscope's port and turn clockwise until fully engaged. It is important to attach this connector before attaching any other connectors. For endoscopes without a forward water jet, close the pinch clip to this connector. Push the air probe tubing onto the air probe port on the endoscope until fully engaged. Align the silicone suction tubing with the suction barb on the endoscope. Push the tubing onto the barb until fully engaged. Attach the 24-hour tubing for Pentax endoscopes to the pump tube. Always refer to the provided hookup IFU. To connect a Pentax endoscope with a forward water jet using the required DSD hookup and the 24-hour tubing adapter for DSD hookup, attach the Pentax air water instrument cleaning adapter or channel plug to the endoscope in order to block fluids from coming out. Then, attach the biopsy inlet connector by aligning the hookup's lure fitting on the instrument channel's opening. Push and turn clockwise until fully engaged. For the forward water jet, remove the check valve from the required Pentax cleaning adapter before attaching to the endoscope. Insert the connector and turn clockwise until fully engaged. To attach the cleaning adapter, align the stainless steel fitting on the hookup with the cleaning adapter opening. Push and turn clockwise until fully engaged. To attach the air water connector, Align it with the endoscope's air water port and push forward toward the endoscope until fully engaged. To attach the suction connector, align the connector with the suction barb on the endoscope. Push the connector onto the barb until fully engaged. Connect the 24-hour tubing adapter for DSD hookup to both the DSD hookup and the pump tube. This section describes how to hook up Fujifilm Pre-700 series endoscopes to the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid using the 24-hour tubing for Fujifilm endoscopes. It is important to know that Fujifilm endoscopes cannot be used with the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid using DSD hookups. On the Fujifilm cleaning adapter kit, disconnect the flushing tubes that connect to the valve adapter. Part number CA503SA. Now attach the cleaning adapter kit connectors, including the valve adapter, forceps inlet cleaning adapter with cap closed, and tank receiving cap to the endoscope following the manufacturer's IFU. Using the 24-hour tubing for Fujifilm endoscopes, connect the male red lure connector to the female lure connector on the Fujifilm cleaning adapter with the red colored ring. This is the suction side. Likewise, connect the male blue lure connector to the female lure connector on the Fujifilm cleaning adapter with the blue colored ring. This is the air water side. The male clear lure connector on the 24-hour tubing for Fujifilm endoscopes attaches to the endoscope's forward water jet connector. For endoscopes without a forward water jet, close the pinch clip. Connect the 24-hour tubing to the pump tube. In Section 6, 
we will demonstrate how to hook up Fujifilm 700 series endoscopes to the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid using the 24-hour tubing for Fujifilm 700 endoscopes. It is important to know, Fujifilm endoscopes cannot be used with the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid using DSD hookups. The 24-hour tubing hookup for Fujifilm endoscopes cannot be used to connect Fujifilm 700 series endoscopes. Using the Fujifilm cylinder adapter, insert the air water and suction plugs into the air water and suction valve cylinders of the endoscope. Push the frame down and then slide forward. Align the rubber instrument channel inlet cap over the instrument channel inlet of the endoscope and push down and over the inlet until fully engaged. Using the tank receiving cap for Fujifilm 700 series endoscopes, align the pin of the water supply connector of the endoscope with the notch of the tank receiving cap. To secure it, push the cap and rotate clockwise until it stops. For endoscopes with a forward water jet, insert the connector on the endoscope's port and turn clockwise until fully engaged. It is important to attach this connector before attaching any other connectors. For endoscopes without a forward water jet, close the pinch clip to this connector. Align the air water tubing with the air probe port on the endoscope. Push the tubing onto the probe until fully engaged. Align the silicone suction tubing with the suction barb on the endoscope. Push the tubing onto the barb until fully engaged. Attach the 24-hour tubing for Fujifilm 700 endoscopes to the pump tube. Always refer to the provided hookup IFU. In Section 7, we will explain how to dose detergent to only the sink in the automatic mode. Ensure that both ends of the pump tube are placed into the sink and the sink is filled with the correct volume of water previously entered in first-time setup. Place both temperature sensors into the sink. Press play to begin dosing to the sink. Continue the steps as outlined in sections one through six, depending on the manufacturer and model of the endoscope. This segment reviews how to use the manual mode with the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid. Select manual mode from the home screen. The manual mode does not ensure that the proper endoscope manual cleaning steps are followed because the user selects each step of the manual cleaning process. Therefore, the data that is tracked will not be complete. Press OK to advance. At the beginning of every cycle, you will be prompted to enter the identification numbers for the user, endoscope, and patient if enabled. This can be accomplished using the barcode scanner or manually by selecting the keypad icon. To dose to the clean container, select the dosing icon. Select the clean container icon. Fill the clean container with the correct clean water volume for the desired concentration. If using the temperature option, place the temperature sensor labeled clean container into the clean container. Ensure the weighted end of the 24-hour auxiliary detergent out tube is in the clean container. Press play to begin dosing to the clean container. To dose detergent to the sink, select the dosing icon. Select the sink icon. Fill the sink with the correct clean water volume for the desired concentration. If using the temperature option, place the temperature sensor in the sink. Ensure the lure end of the pump tube is in the sink. The dosing sink screen displays the amount of detergent to be dosed to the sink in milliliters. If the volume displayed is incorrect, select the keypad icon. Press the backspace key to erase the value shown. Enter the desired detergent volume to be dosed to the sink in milliliters. Press play to begin dosing detergent to the sink. After dosing, continue with the steps of the manual cleaning process per the manufacturer's IFU. Connect the endoscope to either the 24-hour tubing or the DSD hookup, as described in the automatic mode segment of the video. 
For Olympus endoscopes, aspiration can easily be done with the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid. Connect the endoscope to either the 24-hour tubing or the DSD hookup for the aspiration step, as described in the automatic mode segment of the video. Select the aspiration icon. Press play to begin aspirating. Upon completion of aspiration, prepare the endoscope for flushing by replacing the strainer on the pump tube and replacing the biopsy cap on the endoscope biopsy port. On 24-hour tubing for Olympus endoscopes that is connected to an endoscope port, release the pinch clips. When using a DSD hookup, attach all connections to the endoscope channels. The flushing step draws fluid from the sink or clean container into the endoscope channels. Start by selecting flushing from the manual mode screen. Submerge the strainer in the sink or clean container depending on the pathway selected. The default flushing time is 1 minute and 35 seconds. This time covers worst case flushing times for all endoscopes. For more detailed instructions, press More Info on the display. If any step needs to be repeated, press the back arrow to repeat the step. Press Play to begin flushing. Verify that fluid is exiting all channels of the endoscope during flushing. The time logged is displayed in the bottom right corner of the screen. Use the air purge step to circulate air through the endoscope to expel detergent solution. Select the air purge icon from the manual mode screen. Lift the strainer on the pump tube out of the sink or clean container. Drain the sink. The default air purge time is 15 seconds. Press play to begin the air purge. Now it is time to rinse the endoscope with clean water. Use the flushing icon again to pump clean water through the endoscope channels. Use the air purge step a second time to circulate air through the endoscope to expel rinse water. This completes the process using the manual mode. This segment describes the options available in the Settings menu. From the Home screen, arrow down to the Settings menu. Enter the password as 135 and press OK. The Detergent section from the Settings menu is another way to load a new detergent bottle and set the desired dilution percentage for the sink or the clean container. Select Data Logs to view and export data logs. It is also accessed from the main menu. To view data logs, select View Logs and use the up and down arrows to select the desired log. To export data logs, insert a USB drive into one of the USB slots on the right side panel of the device. Select Export Logs. Press the USB export icon. Enter the settings password as 135. Then, select the name of the USB port you are exporting to. When Export Log Options displays, check the desired boxes. Check the Remove DB After Export option to delete all the logs in the unit's database after exporting them. Press OK. A percentage bar shows the export status. Once finished, the screen returns to the Select Export Destination prompt. Remove the USB drive and import the data into the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid report software on your computer to view the logs. Selecting First Time Setup will walk you through all the options available in setting up the Scope Buddy Plus Flushing Aid. This is the same setup used when the unit is initially turned on for the very first time. When using the temperature probe, a temperature range must be entered. Use this menu to enter or change the desired range. As we explained in the daily startup segment, the dosing system should be verified daily to ensure it is within specification. If the dosing verification fails, the dosing calibration must be performed. Then, repeat the dosing verification procedure to ensure the dosing system is within specifications. 
For instructions on how to perform the dosing verification and calibration, view the daily startup segment. The expert section is password protected and should only be entered by a Medivator's technical representative. The quality control QC menu can be entered here or through the main menu. The QC test is not required because the external peristaltic flushing pump has been tested and proved not to degrade in flow rate over time. For more information, refer to the user manual. The Configure Cycle Sequence section allows the user to configure or reconfigure the cycle sequence options. Toggle the Option button to Off to inactivate or On to activate the cycle sequence for each of the following. Brushing step, aspiration step, patient ID scan, and temperature monitoring. The temperature unit section allows the user to adjust the default temperature units. Press the option button next to the desired units. Press OK to confirm. The volume unit section allows the user to adjust the default volume units. Press the Option button next to the desired units. Press OK to confirm. The Set Date and Set Time sections will adjust the desired date format and time format using the Option buttons. This section will also adjust the current date and time by pressing the up and down arrows. Press OK to confirm. The Language section allows the user to change the user interface language if applicable. The About menu displays information about the device, including hardware, software, serial number, and technical support phone number. There are maintenance tasks to perform at the end of the day. Discard all tubing except the detergent in tube that has been in use for 24 hours. Wipe the outside surfaces of the device and the temperature probes using an EPA-registered disinfectant wipe. Do not allow liquid to enter the device. Never sterilize the device. To power off the Scope Buddy Plus flushing aid at the end of each day, press and hold the power button for approximately one second and then release when the screen turns black and an audible tone is heard. The light will turn off once the power off sequence is complete. It is important to note that holding the power button for more than two seconds will initiate a hard shutdown sequence and may result in an inoperable unit. Next, let's discuss troubleshooting and review some of the most common error messages. Temperature sensor not detected is a warning that alerts the user that the temperature probe is not connected. Either press OK to disable temperature monitoring or insert the temperature probe and press refresh to recheck sensors. The low detergent level warning alerts when the dosing system fails to prime and or when there is no detergent in the bottle. To resolve this error, load a new detergent bottle and a new detergent in tube, then prime the tubing. When the output fluid is blocked, an attention output blocked remove blockage warning alerts the user. This indicates the pressure in the tubing reaches unsafe levels of 29 psi or higher which may indicate a blockage in the 24-hour tubing, DSD hookup, or the endoscope channels. The blockage should be located and removed before continuing with the manual cleaning process. Once an output blocked warning is resolved, the cycle will restart from the beginning. The temperature warning alerts the user when the temperature sensor in the sink or clean container is out of the range entered in temperature range settings. The temperature is updated continuously on screen to assist the user in resolving the warning. To resolve a temperature warning, warm or cold water should be added to the sink or clean container until the temperature is within the temperature range. If the LED on the front of the device does not illuminate when the power button is pressed, verify the power cord is properly connected. Contact Medivator's technical support at 1-800-444-4729 if the problem persists. If the external pump is running but the fluid is not exiting the endoscope, 
ensure the pump tube is not reversed in the pump head. Verify the pump tube lure connector is properly connected to the detergent out port on the front of the device. Verify the strainer end of the pump tube is fully submerged in fluid. Check if the strainer is blocked and clean or replace as necessary. Verify the 24-hour tubing or DSD hookup is properly connected to the endoscope channels. Contact Medivator's technical support if the problem persists. If the unit does not power off after holding the power button down for one second, contact Medivator's technical support. If you need additional assistance, please contact Medivator's technical support at 1-800-444-4729. Thank you for viewing this video. Please complete the assessment that accompanies this video and print the completion certificate prior to your hands-on in-service.